Hello and welcome. This brief video will walk you through the process of calibrating your Genius 3 or Genius 2 tympanic thermometers from Cardinal Health, while also addressing some possible errors you may encounter. At the end, we'll provide you with resources to help support you through the process. Before we start, we'd like to discuss why calibration is needed. Calibrating your thermometer at regular intervals ensures that your thermometer continues to perform within specifications. If you are unsure of the recommended calibration frequency for your Genius thermometer, please consult the Instructions for Use Manual, or IFU, provided with your thermometer, or contact your Cardinal Health representative. Now, let's get started. First, make sure that the Checker Calibrator device is set up in a room with a stable ambient temperature that is between 21.1 and 26.7 degrees Celsius, or 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and that the workspace is not in direct line of an air conditioning vent or open door. You'll also want to ensure that the checker calibrator, thermometers, and the probe covers all acclimate to this temperature range before beginning. Second, make sure that all items required for calibration are ready. The checker calibrator device, the detachable power supply, and the Genius 3 and Genius 2 connecting cables. You will also need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Third, make sure that you have a supply of Genius thermometer probe covers handy. Eight probe covers will be used for each successful calibration, and to ensure accurate calibration, probe covers should not be reused. Next, gather all the Genius thermometers that you will be calibrating. Inspect each thermometer to ensure it's in good condition, free of debris, cracks, or other damage. Do not put on a probe cover at this stage. If the lens needs cleaning, please do so before calibrating the thermometer. Consult your thermometer's IFU for detailed cleaning instructions. When calibrating Genius 3 thermometers, use the cable with the gray connector. When calibrating Genius 2 thermometers, use the cable with the black connector. We suggest connecting your desired cable into the port on the right side of the checker calibrator panel before powering on the device. Start by switching on the checker calibrator device. The screen will recommend waiting 15 minutes before beginning the first calibration. This allows the checker calibrator's targets to heat up to the required temperatures. When 15 minutes have passed, the device is ready to use. The main control for the device is the encoder knob on the lower left side. Turn the knob to move through the menu options on the screen and press the knob to select them. The default language for the device is English. If another language is needed, use the knob to select Preferences to change your language. When you're ready to perform your first calibration, select Check Genius Calibration. The device screen will provide easy-to-follow instructions for the calibration. The screen will indicate that the device is checking the temperatures for the low and high targets. For the thermometer being calibrated, check to ensure its lens is clean and press the knob to continue. Connect the thermometer to the cable, press the scan button on the thermometer, wait a few seconds to establish a connection, and then press the knob to continue. When the light for the low temperature target is flashing, load the new probe cover onto the probe tip directly from the cassette. Do not use your hands. Then, insert the unit into the target and press the scan button. Wait a few seconds, after which the display screen will change and the light for the high temperature target will start flashing. Put on a new probe cover and repeat the process. Always ensure that the thermometer is not pointing at anything other than the targets and probe covers. The display screen will prompt you to repeat the steps of inserting the thermometer into the targets with a new probe cover each time until the calibration has been completed successfully. If calibration of a thermometer is not successful, the checker calibrator will display a failed calibration message on the screen. When this occurs, it may not mean the thermometer is faulty or will not calibrate. However, it does mean that you will need to perform additional steps to ensure successful calibration. If calibration fails, the screen will display a status flag. Typically, making adjustments based on the status flag will result in a successful calibration. A list of status flags and their descriptions can be found in the Checker Calibrator Instructions for Use Manual. 
If you have completed this step and are still experiencing failed calibration, please attempt recalibrating your thermometer again. If you would like a report for the status of each thermometer, the device allows you to insert a USB drive to obtain the report. Locate a USB drive with a capacity of at least 128 megabytes, up to 4 gigabytes, and insert into the USB port, ideally 30 seconds before starting a new calibration. The light will flash when the drive is recognized, as long as the USB drive itself is equipped with an LED indicator. Note that if you are going to be saving reports, it's best to insert the USB prior to calibration and double check that it is recognized before starting. If the USB is recognized, it will start flashing a few seconds after installation. If you experience any difficulty calibrating your Genius thermometers, or if you need to order new and or additional thermometers or probe covers, please contact your local Cardinal Health representative. Additional troubleshooting steps can be found within the Checker Calibrator IFU. If you do not have a copy of the IFU, please let us know, and we'd be happy to provide one to you. We hope you found this video helpful. Accurate monitoring is essential to patient management, and regular calibration is key to ensuring accurate patient temperature readings.